I think the key things that I love about science are problem solving and I also enjoy the lateral thinking, the creative input that you get to have and you know when you make that discovery at, in the wee hours of the morning and uh, then you can't pull yourself off the ceiling. It's, uh, it's a great feeling. At first like many people, I thought that malaria was a disease of the past that it had already been dealt with. But then when I read more about it, I realised that um, this is actually a, a serious global health problem. It kills around 1 million people every year and infects another 300 million. This disease really retards economic growth. Malaria isn't just associated with poverty, it is a cause of poverty. In the mid-1940s, we, we had two great weapons against malaria. We had DDT, the insecticide, to uh, kill the vector with the mosquito, which carries the malaria parasite. And we had the wonder drug, chloroquine. Although it was a highly effective drug, it is thought that it has saved more human lives than any other drug in history. Eventually, resistant parasites emerged and slowly spread around the world, such that chloroquine became largely ineffective. There is no effective vaccine available. There are efforts underway trying to develop one, but it's I'm not sure if it's going to happen in my lifetime. So we need to always be looking at new drugs, new ways of using existing drugs and combining drugs. So around 10 years ago, a group of scientists worked out that the parasite is able to fight the effects of chloroquine just by having some small changes in a single protein. And what we've been doing is studying this protein, studying these small changes and working out how it works and, and how it's fighting against chloroquine. Winning the L'Oreal Fellowship is a career highlight and certainly an honour. It will also enable me to support my research group and continue our research on, on this important problem. I hope that in a decade or so, we will have got to the point where we're now providing real solutions or in the process of designing chloroquine-like drugs that are now effective against resistant malaria.